Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Redmi 5. This time we are using Evolution X ROM based on Android 14. So I have been using this ROM few weeks now. It's kind of working well. Although it is working but as this device is pretty old and the specification of the device is not really that good. So Android 14 is kind of heavy for this device. So it runs a little bit slower side. So as you can see here, Android version is Android 14. Evolution X version is 9.3. This is an official ROM for this device. And security patch level is 5th of April 2024. So that's all what you are getting. The UI is if you used Evolution X ROM for any device, the UI looks similar to all of them. So it looks good and notification panel is pretty much stockish. But you can change it actually up to your liking. For customization, there is option called Evolver. Tons of customization available, you can customize your device up to your liking. And I did change few things here, like as you can see here, the UI of my device is black and white. I changed it actually. If you go to theme section, there are a few things like fonts, icons, and navigation bars, icons, all those things. Lock screen, as you can see here, pulse, ripple animation, few things there. Status bar, quick settings, notifications power menu, buttons. The miscellaneous section got few important things like allow application downward, unlimit screen record these things and component spoofing which is really necessary for this ROM like you are getting Google photo spoof so you are getting unlimited storage for Google photos, higher FPS in game although I don't find it useful but it is a bible many people look for it actually and that's all. In terms of network, internet, Bo LT and Bo Wi-Fi, all those things are working well. I haven't faced any issue regarding those. Notification as you can see here, pretty much similar to stock ROM, nothing new here. In terms of battery, the battery is doing pretty well. I haven't faced any drain issue or anything like that. The battery backup is good. Storage, as you can see, after installing few applications, is still kind of 6GB available. Sound and vibration working well. As you can see no issue and if you go down here as you can see here we are getting part app volume control option so that is a bible display section adaptive brightness is there and it is working dark theme and colors double tap to awoke and double tap to sleep double tap to sleep is working and double tap to awoke so now the AOD is on I have to use the button to unlock the screen so it is working so both of them works wallpaper and style we are not getting any kind of ai wallpaper here but the built-in wallpapers are good as you can see here google's wallpapers are available and for aod you can go to more lock screen option and if you want that you can turn it on from here always show time and info so if i lock now as you can see here it will show time and info And there are a few other things available like music, ticker, screen for notification. These things are available. Pretty much basic things actually. In terms of security, we do get both face and fingerprint unlock. And fingerprint unlock is working flawlessly. No issue at all. So as you can see here, it's pretty fast. No issue. And face unlock is also there, but it is a little bit slower side. In more security and privacy setting, we do get few other things here. Trust show media on lock screen, allow camera software extension and few other things are available here. App lock option is also available here actually. So these are the basic things. In the system setting, we are not getting anything much here. Pretty much stock features are available. And that's all about the setting panel. In terms of application, so we are not getting any kind of MIUI camera here. So the camera we got here is Gcam Go maybe, but it works well. So as you can see here, you can take picture and it is working. Video mode is working as you can see here. So no issue at all. And I did install another camera application here as you can see Gcam. So it is working well. By the way, this GCAM I have downloaded directly from Play Store, so you can download this one directly from Play Store and it will work. In terms of Google Photos, Google Photos Unlimited Storage is available as I said, so let me show you that. Unlimited Storage is available 
and if we check magic editor so magic editor is not working and it is not working on almost all the roms in my redmi note 8 also it is not working it always crash i don't really know why they are not fixing this issue but not working as you can see here if i try it it will crash the app and done so that is unfortunate actually and if we check play protest certification that is also not working so this is kind of unfortunate actually i can't really recommend a rom where you can't use bank application or anything like that so as you can see here about device and device is not certified you can fix this issue in installing magisk fix or anything like that but by default you can't install bank application here and it's going to face compatibility issue here so there are few application which will not work without safety net in terms of fnd fnd is working well whatsapp is also working well no issue at all so as you can see here whatsapp is working and you can call record and bo lt and bo wifi working pretty well in terms of gaming obviously this is not really a gaming phone i can't really talk about gaming here but as expected you can actually do like uh, you can still play temple run and all those games as for animation goes so as you can see here the ui is pretty snappy a uh, little bit slower side because android 14 is kind of heavy for this device but working well actually i haven't faced any issue by the way my device got only 2 gb of ram and 16 gb of internal storage but if you got 3 gb of ram and 32 gb of internal storage you might get better experience out of this rom so that's kind of good by the way the drums looks good it is pretty stockish you are not getting any kind of blue toy or any ads or anything like that so it looks good and it works well actually so i haven't faced any major issues here but as i said safety net is not working google photos magic editor is not working and few minor bugs you can find here and there that's all about it actually by the way if you want to try this rom i will put the rom link in the description below that's all about it thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one Thank you.